One of the fun things that can happen in an auction room is those moments of uh, synchronicity that strike you now and then. Here's a, a Better Rural Living magazine from 1961. Lovely cover. Love a young lady holding up a little lamb. He's lost his mother, but he won't want for love and attention to be nice and warm in a lamb casserole. But that's not really the magic we're after. If you turn to the middle of the magazine, there is Grant Featherstone, looking very dashing, thinking about the grand designs that he's making. Six years before this prototype for the expo chair. And if that's not sign enough, we'll turn to the back cover, an advertisement for an above ground pool. And that can only happen in an auction room. Now, Adam, do you think you've got any sleepers among the lots you've got on auction? Oh, I think there's a couple of interesting items this week, William. Yeah, really? Sure. Let's have a look. All righty. I think this one's a little bit interesting. Why is that? It's, <laughs> it looks amazing with the, with the red globe in it. It's a lovely lamp. It's made in the 1950s, 60s up in Sydney yeah. by a company called Tacax. And a lot of this, it's a sort of more plasterware. It's, it's yeah. sort of like a cheaper sort of ceramic. Um, and it breaks quite easily. So it's nice to see one in, in great condition. Well, don't give it to me. <laughs> That's interesting. So we'll keep an eye on that one. And yeah. what else have you got? Um, she is pretty amazing as well. Uh, that is one word you could use to describe her. She is fantastic. She is a cocktail shaker, battery operated. Unfortunately, it's not working at the moment. Oh, I think Push... that's very fortunate. It's a family <laughs> show. Push the button and she starts dancing and, and actually stirs your drink for you as she ah, dances. She does more than that. And what is there? Oh, there's a name here of uh, S. Bellasconi. Oh, I don't know. But maybe <laughs> I'm sure he'll be. Happy with the She's price great. She's modelled after the Playboy, famous Playboy comic in the back of their magazines called Little Annie Fanny. It, it's a bit of fun. It's not the type of thing that gets made anymore and all that type of jazz. And there's a reason for that, Adam. Oh, hello, Fantastic. hello, hello, hello. Adam. What do you got there? A little bag of gold. Look, you used to get these things and you used to sort of hang out to see what was in the bottom of the... Oh, you'd take the rest of the packet yeah. out to get the thing down the bottom first yeah. and then you'd bung the rest of the packet back in, wouldn't it you? It takes you right back to that time when you see something like that. Yeah, it's great stuff. Oh, those wonderful moments when my mother went half mad looking for the Dutch guy. <laughs> Only half mad. Well, you know, <laughs> I completed the circle. Confused by the widely varying prices his internet research has produced, Rob calls on Vanessa's valuation expertise to see what he can realistically expect. I think it's, um... That's classic 60s. Yeah, I think it's Bakelite. Oh, isn't it beautiful? I think it's, it could be plastic, but I think it's Bakelite. Um, no, I don't think it's Bakelite. I think you're right, it is plastic. But look, I will do some research. It'll be interesting to find Vanessa's out. Vanessa's research confirms her suspicions yeah. about I mean, the clock. Like the Mizai company the used plastic housings that very imitated very the look of marble um, or onyx. Without a famous owner to enhance the provenance of the clock, the, uh, Rob might be expecting a little more than it's worth. So, what figure did you have in mind? Look, I'm thinking around about the 400 mark, oh. Vanessa. Look, that could be OK if it's Bakelite, but if it turns out to be plastic, that'll be too much, Rob. Hate but to give you the, the sad news, but oh, I would yeah. like to research it anyway. I do believe that it's worth 400. All right, well, I'm thinking about 200. OK. <laughs> Sorry, but let me do some research okay. and I'll get back to you. Well, I do know Rob. I've known him for a few years, so I know what his expectations can be. I just hope he's not too disappointed. I mean, on the night we may get a much higher price anyway, but I'd rather keep it on the low side, and with that we've got more chance of getting a higher price. Now it's auction night, here I am wearing my good shirt, I've got my bidding number and I'm about to say hello to two very nervous looking William. vendors. How are you Gordon? I am a bit nervous. Yeah? Once the last item on, so I've got to go through two and a half hours of this before I find out whether I made it's, it or lost it. It's the big, it's the closing number. Yeah, it is, yeah. yeah. His fingers crossed some brown vinyl magic. Brown vinyl's going to do it for me. Let's I hope, hope so. <laughs> yeah. Rob, you look yeah. special, how are you? I, I, I... Very confident. Very right, good. Yeah. Yeah. It's always go good for a man to feel confident about yeah. his clock. Not confident in the suit, but confident about the clock. <laughs> good. Good luck, lads. Let's get in there. Number 76, the fabulous vintage knee-length Stefano light knit cardigan slash dress with the gold Lurex loose knit sleeves, gold buttons to the front. Well, number 76, $10 for it. Got to the left-hand side, fifth and over the back of the room, ladies' bid. Back of the room at 15, 20 are seated in front now. Gents in front at $20 finished. Going to be sold a lot at $20 done. That will look lovely on, sir. It'll bring out your eyes. It'll bring out something, that's for sure. A couple of great bits of ladies, sort of 1960s, 70s sleepwear. Five 
$5 for the two pieces. Got in front of the room, gents bid seated them off, and I'm getting a bit worried about you. 406 for $5. Great buying. Coming around next week? Yeah, I'll be over. <laughs> Great bit this, the Teamsters satin bomber jacket. $10 for it. Got in front, gents bid them off at a $10 seated. Finish on to be sold a lot. 15 in the middle of the room is here. Seated in the middle of 15. 20 off to my left-hand side, gents bid. At $20, finish on a $20 down. 406 for 20. Good buying again. Well, that's a little bit different from your last one. Ah, uh, I swing both ways. Atari 2600 Games Console. It's got its original box. Would have killed for one of these when I was a kid. Lot number 28, $10 for it. Got 10 in front of the room, gents bid seated. I'm offered 15 right over the back and 20 a seat in the middle. 25 in front of the room, gents. 30 over the back of the room is now. Back of the room at 35, seated back in front. Gents seated in front at $35 finished. And at $35 done. Hey, 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 376, 35. Rob has just bought a state-of-the-art piece what of computer entertainment which matches his state-of-the-art beige safari suit. Lot well, number one, 30.1 is a box lot. Heaps of box sets of acrylic teeth. Teeth. Got in front, seven to my right, ten to my left, fifteen seated in front, twenty in the middle, the monkey, twenty-five back in front, thirty over in the middle, thirty-five is here. Forty in the middle, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-five, ninety. At ninety-five dollars finishing and ninety-five dollars done. $95 for a box of acrylic teeth. Fantastic. Battery operated 1970s Little Annie Fanny Figural Cocktail Shaker. So wrong. 30, 35 on the sheets, sir. 40 brings 45 on the sheets. 50 beats the sheets off to my right hand side. Gents bid at $50. Finished. I'm going to be sold a lot. Gents bid off to my right hand side at $60. Finished. Going to be sold a lot at $60. Done. 2760. Great buying. Fantastic bit. $10 for a 10, 10, 10. Back of the room. Gents got $10. I'm offered. Finished. I'm going to be sold a lot. At so, $10 uh, finished. Rob, and at $10 done. Yeah. 117 for feeling? antenna. Apprehensive. You are apprehensive? Oh, yeah. 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 Well, number 250 is the fantastic 1960s Lucille Ball plastic Maasai mantle clock with the onyx panels, mother of pearl tone face, gilded hands and... Time's up for Rob. Will his Lucille Ball Maasai clock prove to be the valuable item he believes it to be or a total waste of time? Adam starts the ball rolling. At $160, finished and done. $170, $180, $190, $200, $210, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000,
Finished and done, going to be sold a lot. You're out on the other telephone with Ray. Vanessa has the bid at $4,000 finished. Going to be sold a lot at $4,000 done and finished. Oh, two, two, two. Well done, you. Thanks for hanging around. <laughs> <laughs> a round of applause. Successful punters settle their bills and hurry home to play with their new acquisitions. And for those that didn't get what they wanted, well, there's always next week. Guys, the chair went, but it didn't go for 12 grand, did it? No, it didn't. No. We're thrilled to get 4,000 for it. You are? We could have not sold it and it would have been going back up the hills with us in the ute tonight. Mm -hmm. So instead of taking the chair back home, we're taking an eclectic mix of dragster bikes and 70s crash helmets and, and records hats. and hats and, and books. other stuff, which we'll enjoy in our own way just as much. The real enjoyment will come when Gordon's swimming season is extended well into autumn. Even after paying for their new toys, Gordon's wish will come true. He can now afford his solar pool heater. Rob, you didn't get what you wanted for the clock, did you? No, no not quite, but um, I'm pretty happy with the price, given that I had to sell it. Mm -hmm. um, 270 is, is not a bad price. Unfortunately, we did a little bit of damage <laughs> in the purchasing department. So. Yes, well, that's a bit of fun, isn't it? That's a lovely cup, uh, it wide, uh, yes. cup and saucy you've got there, Rosemary. Yes, this is what I'm taking home. Excellent. And thank God I'm not taking the clock home. Well, that was that auction, and what an auction it was. All the cabinets are being cleared, and I'm taking home my booty. And <laughs> what booty it was, there's my Teamsters jacket. No one's gonna mess with me, not tonight. And I've got my breakfast novelty toys. And I've got my ladies apparel. And I've got my Gary Glitter things that I, I bought for a friend. Ah, I've got to stop coming to auctions. Next time, hard times for a prestigious art prize. Its founder and patron needs to sell. Please, someone, pay well over a thousand dollars for it. <laughs> a lifetime of collecting rich treasures in profusion and one delicious oddity. I love the way it was just put together. I thought, like, how clever, unique. <laughs> and treasures from the deep. We know this. It's been on the bottom of the seabed for hundreds of years. All this and more in the auction room. Who's got $6,000 to start me away? Worth that every day. So do I get a brown paper bag with cash in it or do I get a cheque? I don't know how these things work. We'll have to go and find out. Yeah! <laughs> do the sheep noise again, do the sheep noise again. <laughs> I can't believe the stuff we've bought. It must be 